It is Monday morning, sixth week of school, and last week I had to prepare for my first sub because I had a doctor's appointment, so I'm gonna show you guys my sub binder that I um, created and have used throughout the years. And every year I end up tweaking it, so I'm just gonna show you how I have it this year. So here is my lovely binder, and we're gonna get into it. So when they first open it, they see the welcome tab. And right behind that, I have a welcome letter, which I will read to you guys, but I'm not gonna show you because it has some personal information on it. it. Says, hello, welcome to my classroom. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to cover my classroom. I sincerely appreciate it. If you don't know by now, I teach chemistry periods one, two, three, four, six, and seven. The majority of my students in these classes are 10th grade. I also teach a 7th grade elective called Medical Detectives 8th period. Here's a breakdown on how the day would generally go. Students come in the classroom and have a five minutes and have five minutes to complete their catalyst. And then in parentheses I put their do now or bell assignment because that's what I call their cat that's what their catalyst is. I take attendance, we then go over and then I begin my class, my lesson. Students normally have a hands-on activity after the lesson, and finally at the end of the period, the students will use the last five to 10 minutes to complete their exit ticket. In the case where there is a substitute, I will either leave an assignment on my desk with the substitute for them to work on, or give them one of the emergency lessons in case of an emergency, or you can give them one of the emergency lessons in case of an emergency and I'm unable to make it to school unexpectedly. After attendance is taken, please send one of the TAs, my teacher assistants, to the office to hand it in. You can find the teacher assistant for each period in the class, Helpful Students tab. You can find the rosters for attendance under the Rosters tab. Students do have assigned seats. You can find the seating charts under the Seating Charts tab. If you want to allow them to sit wherever, that's fine as well. Any misbehavior or disobedience? please let me know in the notes section under the tell me about your day tab for that period as well as missing students. These students will get a office referral and I made sure to make the class aware of that. If you need to contact the front office of the principal, please find their contact information under the information tab. And lastly, I'm always by my phone, so if you'd like to reach out to me personally with any questions, feel free to email me at blah, 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 blah. Thank you again for your help and then I put a happy face. So here's a quick glance of that letter. So next I have the information tab. And this is generally the main information that I have. I'll take the heavy take a quick glance at it. But it has the name of the school, the address, the front office phone number, the name of the principal, their email, um, the name of the executive assistant, their email, the vice principal the phone number and email and then on the bottom I put a note on how to use this, the school phone so to reach any other staff member please use the extension list on the following page so on the following page I have an extension list of all the other teachers in the school and staff members and I'll give you a quick glance of that there's the list and um, it says to reach any other staff member please use extension list on the following page to read someone by extension, simply pick up the phone and dial the three-digit number. If you want to contact someone outside of the school, please pick up the phone, dial nine first, and then one, and the phone number you want to dial. Then I have the rosters tab, which lists behind it all the rosters for each period that the sub can easily check off for attendance and have the students sent to the office. Then I have the tell me about your day tab. And I printed out a blank copy, not the one that uh, the sub used last week to write notes. So I have each of the periods here. And then they'll write any notes, any absences, and stuff like that to let me know how their day went. I then have the Helpful Students tab. And here it lists the teacher assistants and it says, these students can carry attendance to the front office and help you pass out or pick up paperwork. 
and then I quickly list, I list all the TAs for um, each period as well as the assistant TA. Speaking of TA, I have um, all my students in the Remind chat so they already know what's expected of them for when a sub comes in because I remind them the day before the sub is supposed to come in in the Remind app and then I also let the TAs know what to do when the sub is there as, as far as passing out paperwork, taking attendance to the office and so forth. So they're already prepared so that the substitute does not have to be stressed. And then I go the extra mile and I also write it on the board and I take a picture and send it in the Remind app as well. And then I also let the um, substitute know that I also wrote the assignment on the board so it's easy for them to see so she doesn't have to say okay this is what your teacher wants you to do it's already on the board already written down she doesn't have or he doesn't have to go write it down it's already prepared then i have the student charts tab and these are this is how my classroom is oriented my desk and then one two three four five six and all the kids and you can see it's exactly like that one two three four five six Seating charts. Next, I have my health information tab. This tab lists all the students in each period that has either like an allergy, um, you know, if they have, like I have a student that has epilepsy, and then it also lists instructions on how to take care of that or what they're allergic to. And then behind that, I also have if they have any like accommodations in terms of 504, special ed, all that goes behind here and obviously I can't show you because there's names behind here so next I have my general procedures for how things are normally done in the classroom so that way um, the students can't say well oh Miss Gates let's just do it this way and you know they could be lying to the sub because they do do that sometimes no it's already here for the sub so she or he knows how things are normally done so this is the actual template that I have, so I can show you guys going to the restroom, what they do, turning in assignments, cleaning up, going to the office, and cell phones. And I do also let the sub know that this is what we generally do, but you don't have to do it that way. They know, the students know that they have to listen to whatever the sub wants regardless. Um, and for instance, last week, I generally, if they're working independently, allow them to listen to their um, headphones quietly because, you know, I feel like it's okay to have a little bit of autonomy in the classroom. Um, and they enjoy that. Once they have one headphone in and the other one out, just in case I need to call them or emergency or anything like that. And they do work well that way. Um, but last week the kids were complaining that the sub didn't allow them to have the, the cell phones out or listen to any music and I said that's fine. Um, you know, if that's, if she feels more comfortable with you guys not having cell phones out, then that's what you have to follow. So, they were a little bit upset about that. <laughs> Here I have my lesson plan for that week. And then behind that I have my emergency lesson plans. So that is pretty much my sub binder. I don't try to make it too complex, even though this may seem like it's too much, but I didn't want to miss out anything. And then I also have um, emergency routes and a map of the school building in the back, which, you know, I don't feel comfortable showing that because it has all the information about the school on it. So that's in the back of the binder. This is my binder. I do have the template in my TPT store, so I will leave that information down below if you're interested. It is free, so feel free to download it, edit it how you want. And I hope you guys enjoy. Please comment, subscribe, and like this video if you got any ideas from the sub binder. Um, let me know how you use your sub binder in your classroom. Or do you use a sub folder? I don't know, let me know. And I'm so excited to 
again always connect with you guys on here um and i will see you in my next video bye i also leave gosh i forgot what i was gonna say have jack in the box for breakfast today on shoes vitamin c but anyways i always leave my computer um turned off my desk always locked and i always leave out pens and pencils there's a phone that they can use um extra pencils paper clips in there sticky notes so they have everything they need it's clearly my off period the desks are so neatly aligned <laughs>